The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says there was no explosion at its number two reactor, denying an earlier report that there was. <laughs> Internal investigators from Tokyo Electric Power Company still cannot determine how radioactive substances were released or why. NHK has obtained TEPCO's interim report on the March 11th accident. The report includes findings from a study the utility began in June. Workers reportedly heard an explosion near the containment vessel of the number no. 2 reactor on March 15th, four days after the disaster. TEPCO analyzed seismographic data recorded within the plant. The company concluded the workers mistook an explosion at the number no. 4 reactor for one inside the number no. 2 reactor. Researchers believe the number two released the most radioactive materials of all reactors at the plant. The TEPCO report fails to specify how the leaks got out of the containment vessel. The document simply says that gas was somehow released into the air. <laughs> The containment vessel is the final fortress for keeping radioactive substances trapped inside the reactor. It's a cornerstone of the integrity of a nuclear plant. The breach of the containment vessel itself is extremely grave. Kato says TEPCO needs to clarify how radioactive substances were released. He says the utility should cross-reference data on reactor conditions and patterns of radioactive dispersions in the atmosphere. What the fuck? You At present, 19 nuclear reactors in Japan have been in operation for more than 30 years. These account for more than one-third of the total in the country. Uh, the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi has raised concerns about how the age of the facilities might have made the accident more serious. Experts have begun studying regulations for aging plants. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, together with a panel of experts, held their first meeting on Tuesday. The panel secretariat reported that the Fukushima Daiichi plant shut down automatically after the March 11th quake and emergency power generators were working until a tsunami struck. The plant then lost all sources of electricity, which caused three reactors to melt down. The agency said the age of the facility did not appear to have been an issue in the accident, but some experts maintain it's too early to know. The experts also reported that steel in a 36-year-old reactor at the Genkai nuclear power plant in southwestern Japan has become weaker than predicted. Some panel members said that to win local approval for continued operations for the reactor, the cause of the disaster must be determined as soon as possible. The panel agreed to issue a report early next year after investigating Fukushima and make revisions to its safety regulations for aging reactors. It's another bullshit experiment. Japan is struggling to achieve its Kyoto Protocol obligations amid the ongoing crisis at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Japan's Environment Minister, Goshi Hosono, said he'll emphasize the country's efforts to cut gas emissions at the COP17 climate conference. Japan has agreed to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 6 percent from their 1990 levels by 2012. Hosono said at a news conference on Tuesday that he will describe the country's effort at the climate meeting. I will explain Japan's efforts to cut power consumption, among other measures. He added that Japan will not change its current midterm goal to cut emissions by 25 percent through 2020. I don't know. They might have come close to exposing the core. If that's true, then we came very close to the China syndrome. The what? If the core is exposed, for whatever reason, the fuel heats beyond core heat tolerance in a matter of minutes. Nothing can stop it. And it melts right down through the bottom of the plant, theoretically, to China. But of course, as soon as it hits groundwater, it blasts into the atmosphere and sends out clouds of radioactivity. The number of people killed would depend on which way the wind is blowing. Render an area the size of Pennsylvania permanently uninhabitable, not to mention the cancer that would show up later.
notice how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing? The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says there was no explosion at its number two reactor, denying an earlier report that there was. Internal investigators from Tokyo Electric Power Company still cannot determine how radioactive substances were released or why. NHK has obtained TEPCO's interim report on the March 11th accident. The report includes findings from a study the utility began in June. Workers reportedly heard an explosion near the containment vessel of the number two reactor on March 15th, four days after the disaster. TEPCO analyzed seismographic data recorded within the plant. The company concluded the workers mistook an explosion at the number four reactor for one inside the number two reactor. Researchers believe the number two released the most radioactive materials of all reactors at the plant. The TEPCO report fails to specify how the leaks got out of the containment vessel. The document simply says that gas was somehow released into the air. The containment vessel is the final fortress for keeping radioactive substances trapped inside the reactor. It's a cornerstone of the integrity of a nuclear plant. The breach of the containment vessel itself is extremely grave. Kato says TEPCO needs to clarify how radioactive substances were released. He says the utility should cross-reference data on reactor conditions and patterns of radioactive dispersions in the atmosphere.